Confused about which transceivers plug into what and which ones talk to each other? It's actually not that hard, as long as you know about standards, specifically IEEE and MSA. Let's start with how we use fiber optics to get data from one end of an optical link to another. It starts out at one port as an electrical signal, gets converted to light so it can go through the optical fiber, and is finally converted back into electrical at the receiving port. Both conversions are done using pluggable optical transceivers. Now these transceivers can be different shapes and can speak different languages. And if they speak the same language, they can talk to each other, even if they're different shapes. That's why pluggable transceivers are standardized. Optical interfaces, electrical signals, and the mechanical form factor are all defined by standards bodies. Optical interfaces are usually defined by the IEEE, which includes things like optical power budgets, encoding schemes, wavelengths, and fiber type. Electrical interfaces with the ports are also usually defined by the IEEE, which includes things like timing jitter and signal amplitude. MSAs usually cover product form factors like SFP and QSFP. Fortunately, since optical interfaces are mostly defined separately from the port-specific standard, any two transceivers that comply with the same optical interface spec can talk to each other or interoperate, regardless of their form factor. Let's review the main points. IEEE defines optical interfaces and electrical interfaces. MSAs define product form factors. Two transceivers can interoperate as long as they comply with the same optical interface. So there it is. Now you'll have an easier time matching transceivers with each other and their ports.